Hi there. So I'm here today with my nephew, Josh, who has been doing some work experience with me. And um, for those of you that follow me on social, you um, may have seen that he's written a blog post about that this week. Um, but we thought we'd record a video for those of you that would uh, prefer video as well um, to um, tell you a bit more about what he's been doing with me. So um, hi, Josh. Um, would you like to start by introducing yourself uh, a little bit about your, your background and how you've come to do a placement with me? Yes, hello. Um, I'm Joshua Beardsmore. I'm a second year student at Nottingham Trent University, studying media, film and TV, joint honours. And as part of a second year module, I've had to undertake a work placement. So I've decided um, to, to do it with Jane in order to understand a bit more about what it would be like to work in the media industry in the future. Okay, cool. Well, I'm really delighted that you've been doing a placement with me. Um, and obviously, we've been doing it a little bit differently to what you might do with a, with a placement in that you've been doing it remotely, um, because we're in different parts of the country. Um, so um, would you like to tell people uh, why you wanted to do an online placement and how that's, that's helpful for you? Yeah, uh, an online placement for me has been really beneficial because I have to travel to and from university, which is quite far. I also have a part-time job um, in my spare time. And with the way the world is at the minute, with increasingly online working, uh, to have an online placement, you know, to do sort of any time, anywhere around my schedule has been really beneficial. Thanks, yes. And I think it's been helpful for me too, um, because we've been able to fit it around uh, so what you've been doing and also what I've been doing. And because I work from home, uh, it's difficult for me to have a normal um, uh, placement student uh, with me um, because I don't have that separate office space that some businesses do. Um, so it's actually been helpful to have it online. And actually these days, because there's so much hybrid working and online working, there's absolutely no reason why we can't do that. So um, from my perspective, I think it's been, been good too. So um, hopefully you've been enjoying uh, things uh, with me, Josh. Yeah. Um, would you like to tell people a little bit about what you've actually been doing, what you've been helping with? Yeah, of course. So I've tried my hand at uh, many things over the course of the placement. Uh, video editing has been a highlight for me. I've also had an opportunity to do some content creation, uh, social media posts, writing a blog, uh, all things I've, I've wanted to, to try before. And I'm delighted to have had the opportunity to have uh, had a go at. Brilliant. Um, and what sort of video editing have you have you been doing? Yeah, so uh, some some workshops um, that you recorded. Um, I've been going through those and um, you know making them more succinct to and, and you know ensure that they um, you know flow flow freely so you can use them uh, you know in your business. Yes. So for those of you that know about. Um, the workshops I did with Anne Barrett about MailChimp um, last autumn. Uh, Josh has been editing those recordings um, for me so that we can uh, then hopefully get them to sale uh, online in the not too distant future. He's been cutting out the waffle, as he said, and some of the bits and pieces where we didn't need uh, to display it in a, in, a, in a recorded version of a workshop. Uh, so that's been, that's been really beneficial for me to have that help. Um, I think what you've been doing, Josh, is stuff that um, I need help with in the business so it isn't just been a question of making the tea or doing the the mundane stuff that sometimes work experience placements do um what uh, a bit difficult to make a cup of tea as well by um sending it down the line isn't it <laughs> um what else have you been you've been doing so you've been doing the video editing I'm going to say a bit, bit more about the um the social posts and the graphics and things you've been doing yeah, sure. So the, the social media posts, it's been a case of um, going on your website and uh, taking elements to sort of, you know, and condensing those down to make them good social media posts. Um, also being uh, your MailChimp um, certification, which I've turned into some social media posts so you can promote um, that certification that you receive. Um, there's been a lot of work as well, um, social media posts sort of around, you know, um, that are evergreen posts, um, meaning that you can use them, you know, sort of year round to promote, you know, the, what you do on a day-to-day on -day basis. 
Yep. Fantastic. And you've used the tool called Canva, haven't you? Have you used that before? I've never used that before, no. Uh, used that um, to do the some of the content uh, planner that um, that you sort of released, I think, earlier earlier this year. Um, yeah, really useful tool. Um, a lot of creative freedom there again to, to sort of, you know, put my own uh, interpretation on it while also sticking to the, the branding that you have with your colours and, and all that sort of stuff. So, again, yeah, re really useful tool. Yes, so um, for those of you that have my, my free planner or my paid planner now as well, um, Josh helped me um, edit and create the new versions of those. Um, and again, you're using a new tool, so you've been learning uh, to learn lots of uh, to use lots of new tools with with me. Um, what do you think you've you've learned the most? What's been the most useful for you? The most useful for me, which I've touched on previously, is the video editing. Um, that's something that after having done this done this placement, I really think it could be something that I'll pursue in the in the future. Um, I, I like having the control to sort of decide what you know should make the final cut and uh you know editing certain bits out to, to make sure that it flows um and i think yeah that is something that i would like to pursue further down the line and that's i guess is related uh to your degree as well because it's, it's film and media studies isn't it and tv that you're doing certainly yeah F film editing or television editing um certainly it would be a dream yeah dream career path for me so yeah the the tools that i've used to edit the software and um like i say the skills that you you pick up you know along the way um yeah really really useful yeah brilliant and uh, so i've learned a few things as well uh it was we've been doing this in terms of managing somebody remotely um, I've had teams before in the past and I've been employed, but I don't have a team directly now, um, other than um, people I outsource stuff to here and there. So it's been really useful to um, for me to do that as well. So um, I hope it's been helpful for you to do it that way. Yeah. Um, and um, I hopefully this is going to be helpful to you in your degree and your, your next stage of your um uh, work study and everything that you have to do yeah definitely yes thank you very much okay excellent so um is there anything you'd like to to say to end on uh, with this in terms of uh work placements and whether you'd recommend them to, to other people and uh online work placements if they're a good thing or a bad thing certainly yeah so um first of all your first point are work placements useful i think they certainly are um i think it's hands-on experience is something that you can never really be taught it's something that you have to experience yourself um, and an online placement is certainly useful for students like myself or people who want to perhaps work in an industry that isn't you know near to where they live so for me living quite a small town there's nothing really around here media related um, so it would mean traveling to a bigger city so yeah, an online placement where you can, you know, have the opportunities to do all those things without, you know, having to sort of break your back in terms of travel or expenses is, is really beneficial. Fantastic. Okay, well, um, thank you, Josh, for joining me today. And thank you for all your hard work in the, the placement that you've been doing as well. Um, and uh, well, I think after we finish this, you're going to, um, look over it and edit it and take out any uh, any waffle that we might have, have uh, created in the recording. Yeah. So um, hopefully the version that you're seeing now is going to be um, the polished one. <laughs> um, so uh, thanks, Josh, and we will speak soon. Yes, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.